Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the Traditions 50 caliber side lock. This Traditions 50 caliber trapper made a cameo appearance in one of my recent videos. Since then, I've had a number of requests for more information about it, so I suppose it's time for me to fulfill those requests. Weighing in at almost 3 pounds, this 50 caliber beast is definitely no lightweight. The octagon barrel is a full 10 inches long and quite beefy. I don't know about you, but this thing is just a bit outside my ability to conceal it very well. So as far as CCW handguns go, this one's out. On the other hand, as far as fun to shoot handguns go, this trapper rates right off the charts. Loaded with a 35 grain charge of triple FG black powder and a .490 diameter lead patch ball, it's a surprisingly potent proposition. When muzzle loading season comes around, I'm seriously considering taking this trapper along on an Arizona Havelina hunt. Before I do that, I need to take some time to finish working up some accuracy loads with it, using both traditional lead balls and sabots, just to see which one works out the best. These black sleeves or sabots don't require the use of a lubricated patch. I simply hand press a 255 grain .452 inch diameter Keith style semi wad cutter into them, which aren't the same bullets I cast from my 45 Colt revolvers, and it seems to shoot these pretty accurately. Nevertheless, it does give me a choice of what kind of projectile I want to launch out of this pistol. The clip you're about to see is this 50 caliber trapper firing a savant. I have to say, it certainly packs a punch. The front sight on this pistol is dovetailed into the barrel and can be drift adjusted for windage. The rear sight is actually fully adjustable. Elevation can be adjusted by turning a small ladder screw. Additional windage adjustments can be made by loosening this set screw and moving the sight in the direction you want it to go. For a basic iron sight, it's pretty well thought out. The lock and hammer are color case hardened and nicely decorated. After installing a percussion cap with a hammer in the half cock position, you simply rock the hammer on back and you're ready to fire. This trapper is also equipped with double set triggers. Setting the rear trigger allows the front trigger to trip the sear with a very light trigger pull. Or you can choose to shoot it without setting the rear trigger, which will give you a more traditional, slightly heavier hammer release. I know there's a lot of you who've never owned or fired a black powder weapon. And I have to say, you're missing out on a whole lot of relatively inexpensive fun. A leisurely range session with a black powder rifle or pistol is something I find to be a pleasant change from time to time. For me, taking a modern firearm to the range usually results in spending quite a bit of time at the reloading bench, reloading a whole lot more ammo than I actually remember shooting. Not so much with a pistol like this. After returning home and giving it a proper cleanup, it's range ready again. No reloading press, no reloading dies or other equipment required. And what's not to like about that? To sum up this Traditions Trapper, I'd have to give it a pretty high rating. It's extremely well made, but only modestly priced. And as far as black powder firearms go, and for what you get for your dollar, it's certainly a good value. Well, there is that thing about the fun factor, but then again, that's priceless, isn't it? Until next time, practice often, shoot straight, and thanks for stopping by.